Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will discuss an important use case working with the virtual table. In Dataverse, we have seen that virtual table plays, a, plays an important role to pool external data source data for integration purpose in our Dataverse for, so that we can use in model driven app. But when it is using relationship, when we relate a virtual table with other entities, then how the use case will behave, we will discuss, right? So let us go here and uh, you see here, this is my SharePoint. And in this SharePoint, we have a uh, site called as travel expense tracking. And in that site, I have created a list. And this is my list, which is my feedback, right? In that my feedback, I have taken a title, which is a default column, comment a new column in that table and star rating, which is a number field, number type, property, which is a multi-line text. If you click on edit, you can see. So this is the property with multi-line text data type. Then we have a column setting. Uh, if you go to raised by, this is also a uh, multi-line text, right? So I have this much columns and I want to pull this information uh, from the SharePoint to Dataverse virtual table plus vice versa. When I create a new record in Dataverse table, that will also synchronize with this my feedback list available in the SharePoint. So let us start with so. So this is the list you have already, right? So let me go here and create a new table from external data. So this is how you can create a virtual table that connects to an external data source, whether it is SharePoint, SQL Server or other data sources. So click on this. This is, the, this is a new way of creating virtual table to connect external parties. So let's say I want to connect SharePoint. So I have already created a connection. That's why it is showing here. Otherwise, you can add a new connection so that it will create a connection reference. So click on this and click on next. Here you have to provide the SharePoint URL. The SharePoint URL can be extracted from here. This is the SharePoint URL. I can copy and paste here and choose one of the site from the recently used otherwise otherwise click next once you click next it will list out all the list that are available so this is the list i want to connect with my virtual table my feedbacks now select this configure table and column names that will be used in dataverse click on next now it will it will re-evaluate all the columns available in the list of the sharepoint so that it will recreate in the uh, Dataverse. So here it is asking what is the schema name it will create, what is the display name, and what is the plural name, and what is the primary column or primary field. So title represents as primary field from the SharePoint, and these are the mappings. Okay. So for ID field, external column, it will create a ID column in Dataverse. Title, title column, comment, comment. So for each column in the external data source or SharePoint, it will create respective uh, uh, columns in the Dataverse. So click on next and click finish. So what it will do, it will create a placeholder or a virtual table with matching columns available in the SharePoint list so that whenever you create any record information in uh, travel expense tracking, it will also synchronize, right? But I want to make this I want to make a relationship with this virtual table with another entity. If you go to my feedbacks and click on columns, you will see there are two columns that are available. One is property and another is raised by. Now property and raised by are multi-line text right now. So this property and raised by. But I want to connect a relationship. So you can see here this property and raised by both are multi-line text created in the uh, dataverse but i want to create this with relationship with a property entity and raised by to connect with contact entities what i what i will do i'll select this and check the external name that has been created because external name is the column name which is exactly matching with the external data source uh, column name you see the external name is property and uh, raised by columns external properties raised by so this should be matched with your dataverse column so that 
the virtual entity will map the correct uh, column from SharePoint to Dataverse column. Now what I will do, I don't want to keep this two field multi-line text. So select and delete. I will delete from this environment first because I need this two field to be lookup because I will create two n is to one relationship between my feedback entity virtual entity to contact one is to property so click on relationship and create new relationship you cannot add manual columns here you can create relationship let's say i want to create a many to one relationship with entity property which is a data for standard entity so let me search property and this is the property and what is the lookup column name property what is the external name external name should match exactly the same as column name available in the sharepoint so select this and click on done next so property column is created with same external name as i have validated in my column previously which was deleted and if you i want to create one more relationship with contact so search contact and the extend and the lookup name will be raised by and the external external name should be also raised by because in sharepoint the raised by column uh, external name is same raised by so i have given raised by external name is very important and mandatory for virtual tables so click on done now i have created two fields by deleting the existing property and uh, raised by fields which were multi-line text before but right now i have converted to relationship i mean lookup so if you go to columns you will see the property and raised by was deleted but create recreated with different data type called as lookup right but i have kept same external name so that it will synchronize properly right now my work is done so let me go here and create a app using this table so i'll go to here click on create an app and see how it works let's say i want to give a name my feedback demo okay this will create a model driven app by taking this entity as sitemap link so that i can achieve crude operation right right now i do not have any data in this airport right but let me create a record from data first virtual table and see if it is synchronizing to this tracking uh, this uh, uh, my feedback table or not in the sharepoint so it created an app here and i have to publish this to use it so click on publish every model driven app must be published before you use it so click on play and you'll see the entity will display in the site map but i have not designed the form and i have not designed the uh, view also right because if you click on my view my feedback it is showing uh, only one column title because i have not updated the view and form if you create new also you will see only one column so i have to design the form and views right so let me go here and go back and design the entity form and view so click on forms i want to add respective columns so that i can provide a value while creating new record so go to forms and edit the main form so click and uh, edit a new tab so here i want to add all those columns i want to be on the form because we want to create new records from the uh, power apps so i need all the columns should be on the form so that i can create new records so select the uh, select the column that i want to put on the form already title is there because title is the primary column so i can drag and drop or select all those columns that i want to be on the form so title is there what is the next column the next column is comment and the next column to be synchronized is property and raised by then star rating all these are part of uh, your sharepoint integration so let me choose id 
and I want to log this ID because ID is generated from SharePoint. So I'll put it on the header and lock it. Make it read only. So from Dataverse, you do not need to uh, provide a value to the ID because ID generated in the SharePoint because SharePoint is our source now. Okay. Now click on save and publish. Now the form design is done. Now I want to design the view to display all this information in the uh, view. So I'll go back and go to the view and edit the view here. I can edit the all my feedbacks. This is data first concept, right? Editing views, editing forms. So it is not new to uh, virtual tables. It is common to any other table in Dataverse. Now you want to add respective columns in the view because by default title is there. Now let me go to the left side where I, I can find all the columns that I want to select to be on this view. So let me select comment and ID, then property and raised by and star rating. That's it. So let me save and publish. Now we are good to go. So let us test how it is synchronizing. So let me create a record in the Dataverse and see the magic. So let me refresh this and click on my feedbacks so that I can see the view. So I can I can press Ctrl Shift R to do a hard refresh. Now you can see the virtual table view is now showing all the columns here. Title, comment, ID, property, raised by and star rating, right? And also if you create a new one, let me create a new record. Right now there is no record in the SharePoint. Let me first test if data is moving from Dataverse to SharePoint or not by creating a new record in Dataverse. So let us create a new record. Title I want to give comment one. And here I want to give my new comment one which property for which property i want to give a property because it is a lookup because that's why it is showing as a lookup in in, in sharepoint there is no lookup uh, there is no uh, there is a lookup but you cannot uh, use the same data set as lookup so that's why it will display only the guid so raised by let me choose a contact from this lookup and star rating i will give four so when I save this, I'm expecting this data will be synchronized or pushed to SharePoint and it generates the ID in the SharePoint and again synchronize back to Dataverse. So let me save and close or directly click on save and see the magic. So once I saved it, it sends data to SharePoint list to create new record. And the ID is generated, you see guys, once the ID is generated means it created the record in SharePoint and moved back to Dataverse. Now, if you click on this My Feedback, you will see the record available here. Now, I want to check this will be available in the Dataverse, but I want to check if it is created in SharePoint or not. So, this is the raised by and this is the property. So, let me go here and travel expense and refresh this and see that if the record is created or not. And you'll see the same record is created in SharePoint. You see, title comment one, comment my new comment one, star rating four. But in the property and raised by, it stores GUID. Because it is a relationship, when you synchronize this information, property and raised by, this, this information will be stored as GUID. So it will not store the display name, it will store the GUID. Okay, so when you do relationship, it will store GUID rather than the text. That is the difference. Otherwise, if you do not have any relationship, 
uh, no need to uh, worry about this GYD. You can give text value. Now this is the property. Let me copy and uh, store it here. This is the property GYD for one property, and this is your contact GYD. Okay. Now let me create a new recording in SharePoint and see if it is moving back to database or not. Uh, one way around we have checked, but I want to uh, create a new record, new item from SharePoint and see the synchronization. So let me give comment to my second comment star rating one and property I want to give the same property. You have to give the same GUID, otherwise it will not uh, result below copy. This is the property. You can use any property from this dataverse GYD. Page by click save. Once you save, it will create a again new record. And if you go to dataverse and refresh it, the same comment new record is synchronized here. And automatically the lookup field is resolved. You see, and it created the new record right now. So data is moved from SharePoint to dataverse. Previously, we have seen how dataverse data moved to SharePoint, and in reverse, we have checked that. Now let us check. So create op create action is uh, two way. We have tested. Update action is two way or not? Let us test. Let me open this comment one feedback and change this my comment hyphen updated and save it. That means when I saved or edited any record in dataverse, I'm expecting this change should be pushed to SharePoint. So let me go here and refresh this and see if the comment one record comment field is updated or not you see guys my new comment one hyphen updated why because this data is updated in data force and moved back to SharePoint. let me update the same record with a different comment i'll go here updated again and save it it is saved updated again now go here in the dataverse and refresh this. I'm expecting this value should be updated. If it's not updated, go to, yeah, now it is updated, you see guys. So the comment is now pulled from the latest data from the SharePoint. So update operation also two way. Create is two way, update is two way. Retrieve already we have seen two way. Delete, so let me delete this one from, uh, data first and see if it is deleting in SharePoint or not. Now it is deleted. Now let me go here and refresh this. I'm expecting the uh, one record should be deleted because it should synchronize with the data verse data source. It is now deleted. So deleting also one we have tested. So if I delete from SharePoint, is it deleting data verse record also? Let me check. So click on this. And click on delete now it is deleted from SharePoint so I'm expecting this data will also be deleted if you refresh it so in this use case now it is deleted right so delete operation is also two-way so we have tested that how we can create a virtual table by connecting to external data source and achieve create retrieve delete update operations two-way with other data wars table relationship Okay, if you have do not relationship with other data tables, no need to use GYDs. If you have relationship, you have to use GYD pass from uh, SharePoint to Dataverse for lookup resolution. I hope you understand how it works in virtual table with relationship context in Dataverse. If you have any question, you can tell me so that we can discuss. Thanks everyone.